Tennis is kind of my background. I've played my whole life. I started as a six-year-old. I'm from Denmark and I won the European Championship at 16, moved to the United States at 17 and turned pro about that time. So pickleball became a whole new thing for me about a year and a half ago. And I'm on the tennis courts and all of a sudden I hear all this laughter and noise and banging the ball and a lot of activity. And I'm thinking, what is that? Uh, so I go over there and they're playing pickleball. And I go, that looks kind of fun. Pretty soon I get a paddle in my hand and I'm, I'm hooked. And I'm playing and I'm getting in shape. My knees don't hurt as much, I'm losing some weight. And I'm thinking, this is fantastic. I'm either teaching or playing every day. And it just seems to, I'm not, I'm not burned out. I haven't even had the thought of not playing. It, it actually is something that's part of my life now. I teach pickleball because I love the sport and I feel I can bring something to the game that hasn't quite been out there yet from my tennis experience and my dynamite doubles. It's all about positioning, shot selection, teamwork. Like who takes the middle ball, who takes the, the lob, who, who covers what. And to the average player, the 2-5, 3-0, 3-5 player, they have trouble with that. And they hear always it's the forehand. And I think that that's just a, an easy way out. I don't think the forehand prevails. I think it's geometry and we can bring that. We can bring a little bit higher level to the pickleball by who takes what using, using that system. So that, that's just my, my way of, I think, contributing because it was very successful in tennis and I think I can, it, it translates right over. It's just a great game and uh, as I get better, more challenges occur. So I don't think I'll ever graduate or, or have it. I, it's a game you can keep growing with and learning.